Hi, I'm Ian Nethercott, Supply Chain Director at ProBrand, and I spend £35 million on IT products every year. And I'm here to give you tips on how to buy IT for less. Uh, but this week we are looking at the uh, regular monthly uh, Supply Chain Insights slot, looking back at uh, July uh, and what happened in the IT market. So new products for July uh, across the whole of the month was at 28,776 uh, products exactly uh, across the whole of the month. There was a quite a big spike in the middle of the month actually, but uh, across the whole of the month, so nearly 30,000 products there in total. Uh, so big influx um, uh, across the across the industry. Uh, the highest uh, amount of price increases actually were um, exactly on the 22nd of July. There was 65,142 price increases. Um, I think a big key part of that actually was the uh, was the dollar rate changes so it was the 22nd 23rd of the month uh, where the dollar rate really started to uh, to plummet in the markets that's naturally pushed um, a lot of prices up um, and that as that that dollar rate continues to plummet um, and straight into August as well. Prices are just continuing see, uh, seemingly to, to go up at the moment as well. So I think that was the key reason on why there was a, such an influx in price rises uh, exactly that time in the month. So just to cover off a few things then uh, that also happened in the industry and a bit of news to tell you about as well. Um, so, uh, so really a big thing in July was the whole boom in the uh, SSD and memory market. Um, so uh, it's all gone a bit crazy. Uh, the prices have really shot up in the industry uh, in, in probably uh, excess of 25% now actually um, by the end of July. Um, so that again happened around about uh, the 23rd, 24th uh, of the month uh, when all the prices really really started to spike so uh, but remember to check out the link below uh, there's a video dedicated to uh, to that and why that's happened as well um, so remember to watch that for more uh, information on what's going on in the market there uh, but I'll certainly update you more uh, in next week's video as well um, so other news as well uh, Microsoft uh, announced uh, just a few days ago actually um, that uh, they're ending Skype for business uh, on uh, that'll be July 21 um, so so uh, that's been talked about for a little while now, Obviously, everything's moving into Teams, uh, but any new uh, clients now moving into the Office 365 environment will be um, automatically go on to Teams uh, as their standard sort of communication platform. Um, so, uh, so watch out for more news uh, around that as well. Um, and then the other thing really to tell you uh, is uh, this picking up on, the, um, on some of the 5G stuff I've talked about. Again, remember to check out the video below uh, around uh, what's happening in the world of 5G. Uh, but a big uh, big purchase that's happened uh, in July. So Apple have acquired uh, the smartphone modem business from Intel uh, for a mere one billion dollars. Um, so uh, that's obviously Apple's. Um uh, attack into that 5G space with uh, new technology, new devices that's going to come now over the next 12, 24 months uh, with uh, with 5G technology built inside them. So, uh, so those are really the key highlights from July. Uh, so, uh, but any updates, please remember to stay tuned. Uh, but that's it. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe for more insider information. Uh, remember to send any questions to askian at probrand.co.uk. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.